Hi, this is Dr. Greg Hickman from uh, the Andrews Institute. Welcome to Blog Jocks. Uh, today we've got a 45-year-old gentle, 45 gentleman with a calcaneus fracture. We're going to be putting in a, a continuous uh, pop continuous catheter in his uh, palpatial sciatic nerve and uh, doing this for his post-op analgesia. And we're going to get started here with a pre-scan uh, to find the anatomy. We're going to start right in the... Uh, right in the popliteal fossa, directly behind the middle of the kneecap. So right here's the middle of the kneecap, directly there. When we put, put the probe on there, and I'm gonna have the right side of our screen, there you go, you got a good angle of seeing where we are, where we're starting. And when we start there, right side of our ultrasound screen is gonna be lateral. So if you look in the left lower corner, you'll see the artery pulsating. See the artery right there pulsating. Just above the artery is gonna be the tibial nerve, and then just to the right of the tibial nerve is going to be the perineal nerve. Now as we're going to slide, we're going to slide up the, up the leg approximately and see the tibial nerve and the perineal nerve coming closer together, coming closer together and then getting really close right here. This is the area we're going to be putting our catheter in, our injection, our catheter. You also notice that the uh, popliteal artery has gone deeper and is out of our picture now, so it's not, not going to be near our area where we're doing our injections. Okay, Noel, you want to mark this right here, it's about where we're going to go. So we've got our marking here where uh, the probe will be, and Noel will hold the probe for us underneath the, uh, the drape. So we're going to prep out here on the lateral side of the leg and put the drape over it, and that's where we'll approach uh, the nerves from the lateral aspect with the probe on the posterior aspect of the leg. Lay our drape on here, like so. So we've got a stimulating needle, and we'll use a non-stimulating catheter. We'll hook up our uh, local anesthetic. We're going to flush our uh, local through the needle, make sure there's no air in it. All right, so Noelle's got our um, probe underneath our, our drape. She's on the non-sterile side. I'm on the sterile side. And she's got it right there. I'm gonna reach through, just let go, Noelle. I'm gonna reach through and I'm gonna hold the probe so I can control it through the drape. And so, again, we go back, see the two nerves come up together here, and we will get them right here where they're really close together and get in between them. Okay, so now in the left lower corner, you can see the artery, popliteal artery again, right there. You can see it beating, and just above that, more superficial towards the skin, it's gonna be the uh, tibial nerve right there, and then off lateral from the tibial nerve, about the same depth as the perineal nerve. Often the perineal nerve will be a little more superficial, but his, his are pretty much about the same depth. And then as we go up the leg, we start sliding up the leg, these two, um, two nerves will start coming together. Getting really close. And then at this point, you can see two nerves, but it's really close to being one nerve. But you can still make out there's two nerves there together. I'm trying to get them up here close where there's a nice sheath covering the two together. So we're about one and a half centimeters deep. So we're gonna come off the face of the probe. The nerve you can see there on the, on the ultrasound image is about one and a half centimeters deep um, from, the, from the skin. So we're kind of eyeball off of the um, face of the ultrasound probe here, about one and a half to two centimeters. We have a slight angle here. Okay, here comes a little numbing shot. It's gonna be a big sting, ready? Here we go, one, two, and three. Oh boy. So we're gonna come in at this angle, which is what I wanna be, just slightly deep with the local. That's the angle I want to come in with my uh, stimulating needle, my stimulating TUI. Got my bevel up super towards uh, superficially towards the top of the screen or the skin. I'm going to come in this way. You can see our needle approaching from the right side of the skin. We're going to go just deep to the to the nerves here. Do some injecting right there. Noel, give me five cc's right under the nerves. You can see the local coming out now. Perfect. OK, 
Okay, come over here, uh, just outside the perineal nerve on the lateral side. Right. Give me five cc's there. Okay, on the side superficially here. Okay, five more cc's there. Okay, five more right there. Now come over, get on the, just above the tibial nerve. Try to wrap around the medial side. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're gonna try to come just under the perineal nerve Try to pop in between the two nerves. Make sure we see our needle. There we are, inject right there, no well, five cc's. We're gonna try to separate the two nerves here with our local. Okay, try that. There we are, separating the two nerves. I think that's, well, okay, give me the five more right there. As you can see, we can take our needle and actually push down on the nerve a little bit if we need to move it out of our way. Now you can see the nice donut we've got around the, the tibial nerve there. We're hopefully going to slide our catheter just, just around the tibial nerve and then between it and the perineal. You see the perineal nerve just above the needle and to the right of the needle, just above, superficial. And we're going to slide our catheter in there. Got bevel down on the screen to try to wrap around the um, tibial nerve with this catheter. You'll see our catheter coming through the needle. See the tip in a little bit better. There you go. Should see the catheter come right out the tip of the needle right there, pushing the tissue down. Just a little bit. Got the tip of the catheter out of the needle about a centimeter or two, then we're gonna pull back with our needle, laying our catheter between the two nerves right there. And then we'll just retract our needle, making sure our catheter stays right in that space between the nerves and hopefully the tip out on the medial side of the tibial nerve. Very carefully sliding that needle out to maintain our catheter position. So now we're at catheters about eight centimeters to the skin, which is Pretty good distance, about average for an average leg. The average patient. And then we're gonna give this uh, catheter a test to make sure that that tip is exactly where we want it and that the spread through the catheter is gonna be around both nerves like we want it. Okay. Got our three cc's of test dose local. You can see the catheter coming in from the right side of the screen going right to the nerves. So we're going to inject on three and watch our spread. One, two, three. Perfect spread. The tip of the catheter wrapping right around the uh, tibial nerve to the medial side and then the catheter coming back through between the, the tibial and perineal nerves. This, this is a perfect catheter location right here. We'll inject a little more local again. One, two, three. Again, you see the spread. You see the two nerves there, and that's exactly what we want. We'll get a great, great analgesic for three or four days with this catheter placement. You can freeze that right there. That's the image we're going to freeze and put on our chart. We'll print out a copy. Now I'm going to just tunnel this catheter. Um, some people tunnel, some people don't. I do just to secure. Um, our catheters because all our patients are outpatients and just to give them a little extra security. So I'm going to put a little local in here. Big sting now, you ready? One, two, three. Big burn right there. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's almost the worst part of the whole thing. Okay, we're going to take our TUI. We'll start just a couple centimeters away where we put a little local in there. Bring the tip out close to the catheter but not too close. Leave a couple of millimeter space there for a skin bridge. And then just thread it back through. 
I did real good with that. My eyes are working well today, so I can see it. <laughs> so we'll just slide this right back through here. Catherine, there we go. Catherine tunneled through. We're going to put a little histocryl on here to help uh, decrease our leaking potential around the catheter and out the skin. It's always bothersome for patients when they leak back and we found just a touch of uh, skin seal and histocryl works well for us. That looks perfect, just leave it alone. And then I'm just gonna put a little mastosol and then we'll cover this up with a couple of tegaderms and we will be done. Pull our drape off. So I like to make a little pigtail with our catheter. Again, sending patients home, give us a little more slack to protect our catheter from getting pulled out. Just lay a little pigtail like that. Cover it with a couple of tegaderms. And somebody really has to work hard to pull this catheter out it with all the slack with it. Do it for. Yeah, we don't want it coming out on day one or two. No, no. Hmm. Day three or four. Just let her know when to pull it out and she'll pull it out. All righty. Yeah, it'll be easy. It'll slide right out. You won't even feel it when it comes yeah, out, okay? Her. I won't even feel it. Yeah, it just slides right out. All right, thanks for joining us here on Blog Jocks. A popliteal catheter, great patient here. He did super well, good anatomy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Uh, when's the next time? <laughs> Whenever you come back. Oh, there ain't gonna be.